Acute inhalational injury is a commonly used term that refers to an acute damage to the respiratory tract or pulmonary parenchyma from heat, smoke, or chemical irritants that enter the airway during inspiration. An inhalation injury also causes systemic toxicity due to toxic gases, such as carbon monoxide or hydrogen cyanide. About one-third of patients with burn injuries have an associated inhalation injury. The term smoke inhalation injury is used synonymously with the term inhalation injury and is one of the leading causes of death. Next, we will consider the etiology of acute inhalation injury. Most inhalants are classified as irritants, asphyxiants, or systemic toxins. These toxic gases are released during the combustion of various substances. These gases are listed in a table in the following slides. The inhalants are classified as irritants, asphyxiants, or systemic toxins. The toxic gases are released during the combustion of various substances. These gases are listed in the given table. The irritants cause extensive cell injury within the respiratory tract. The irritant gases include ammonia, chlorine, sulfur dioxide, and nitrogen dioxide. These gases are found in various chemicals that are part of daily or commercial use. These irritants injure the upper and lower airway epithelium, which leads to respiratory insufficiency. Asphyxiants are mitochondrial toxins that are released during fires. They get absorbed through the respiratory tract and then damage other organ systems. Carbon monoxide competes for oxygen sites in hemoglobin, myoglobin, and hemocontaining intracellular proteins thus leading to asphyxiation or respiratory insufficiency. Hydrogen cyanide causes tissue asphyxiation or cellular anoxia by inhibiting intracellular cytochrome oxidase activity and inhibiting ATP production. Hydrogen sulfide is a tissue asphyxiant that inhibits cytochrome oxidase and leads to disruption of the electron transport chain, which results in anaerobic metabolism. Systemic toxins are absorbed through the respiratory tract and then they further damage other organ systems. These toxins include hydrocarbons, organophosphates, and fumes from metals. The hydrocarbons may cause central nervous system or CNS narcosis, complications during anesthesia, diffuse gastrointestinal or GI symptoms, peripheral neuropathy with weakness, coma, sudden death, chemical pneumonitis, CNS abnormalities, GI irritation, cardiomyopathy, and renal toxicity. The organophosphates are found in insecticides and nerve gases. They act by blocking acetylcholinerostase. The inhalation of metal fumes causes flu-like symptoms such as fever, myalgia, and weakness. Moving on, we will cover the epidemiology of acute inhalation injury. The epidemiology of acute inhalation injury is as follows. According to the reports published by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, in 2017, the pulmonary complications following burns and inhalation injury are responsible for up to 77% of the deaths, among which the majority are due to carbon monoxide poisoning. An inhalation injury is common after a burn injury, and it increases in incidences with greater size of the burn injury and age of the patient. The inhalation injury is known to be an independent predictor of mortality in burn patients. Now we will talk about the pathophysiology of acute inhalation injury. The pathophysiology of acute inhalational injury covers three primary mechanisms that lead to an injury through smoke inhalation. These are thermal damage, asphyxiation, and pulmonary irritation. A combination of these mechanisms causes pathophysiologic responses that alter the airway microenvironment with parenchymal damage and predispose smoke inhalation victims to respiratory insufficiency. Let us now look at the classification of acute inhalation injuries. The common classification of inhalation injuries based on the location of injury is as follows. An inhalation injury is classified into upper airway injury lower airway or lung parenchyma injury, and systemic cellular dysfunction from exposure to carbon monoxide and cyanide gases. 
In upper airway injuries, the damage to the tissues occurs due to transfer of heat from thermal burns, which causes airway obstruction and edema. In lower airway or lung parenchyma injuries, the chemical and particulate irritants cause the formation of fibrin casts that obstruct the airways. The irritants elicit an inflammatory response and cause ventilation perfusion mismatch, a teletasis, and bronchospasm. In systemic cellular dysfunction from exposure to carbon monoxide and cyanide gases, asphyxia or hypoxia leads to lactic acidosis and injuries to the central nervous system and cardiovascular system. Next, we will look at the primary physical examination for acute inhalation injuries.